Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So what you see here is our slab wood. Uh, again, for this year, we are gonna be cutting slab wood for, to heat our house. Last year, we ordered eight bundles, and uh, I think it was $20 a bundle. There's a lot of sawmills in our area, and uh, they produce a lot of slabs, and, and a bundle, I think, weighs about a ton, and they charge $20 per bundle. And, and we ordered eight of them. We, we laid them out here, and last year and this year, we're cutting up these slab woods uh, to, uh, to fill up our truck and then bring it up to the homestead and, and put in our wood stove. And so each, each bundle weighs about a ton, costs about 20 bucks, and we're still cutting off the same eight bundles that we got last year. And so for, for two years, $320 is our heating bill for two houses. That's pretty affordable. And so if you have slab woods, or if you have uh, sawmills in your area that produce slab woods, it's really a good idea to go up to them and see if they'll sell you those and even, even deliver them for you. Uh, these slab woods will produce, you know, small kindling size pieces. They'll, they have medium pieces in here. And uh, they also have, you know, there's a, a number of large pieces that you can use for overnight logs. So you get a good variety of different types of uh, pieces of wood to, to cut for, for home heating. Um, what I do is I just take these slab woods, I take the saw and I just cut down and, you know, pull off the pieces I cut at the lengths I want and then throw them in the truck. It takes me about 20 minutes to basically cut the wood, fill the truck up and get back up the hill. It goes really fast in 20 minutes just to, to get you know, a whole truckload of wood. That's, that's pretty fast. And so it makes it really easy. The only thing you have to watch out for are some of these metal bands that they use uh, to hold, hold the slab woods together, the bundles together. And so you just got to watch out for those or cut those and pull them out when you can. Uh, the, other, the other issue is sometimes in these slab woods, because the forest, when they, when they har harvest, the, when the lumberjacks harvest these woods out of the forest, these logs, they drag them uh, sometimes quite a ways and it picks up rocks. And so you are going to have to sharpen your saw uh, probably between every cutting. And so that's not a big deal. You just sharpen your, your blade and, and you're ready for the next time. But... Uh, and we keep a number of blades on hand just to make sure uh, we always have blades and we have sharpeners as well. So uh, eight bundles, two years of home heating for two houses, 320 bucks. That's a pretty good, pretty good deal. So again, if you live in a place where you have sawmills in your area uh, for your homestead, I would go out and uh, see what they'll sell you. And it's a pretty affordable way to heat your home. Now we have a sawmill. And the sawmill, uh, we do produce slabs off of that, but we cut, we're going to be cutting more cedar uh, than oak. And so cedar is not really a great uh, wood for home heating. It burns almost too hot. It uh, puts off some creosote. And, uh, but the hardwoods are definitely a better wood you know, to heat your home. Um, but, so we may still continue to buy these slab woods on a regular basis from one of the, any of the numerous sawmills that are in the area and uh, have them delivered. Again, that's just a really affordable option to heat your home. Here's kind of what I'm talking about. You see this right here. There's a rock in there. And uh, you got to watch out for those. I mean, you're going to hit them regardless. They're inside the wood bundles here and there. Not too many of them, but they are there and uh, they will dull your blade. So you got to kind of watch out for those when you're cutting them. And I just cut these, this wood to the length of my bar um, on the chainsaw. Uh, and you know, it fits in the wood stove pretty easy, but like I said, you, there are some hazards like that, um, that that'll dull your blade um, if, if you hit them, and you're gonna hit them. Uh, also over here, you got your bands. You can cut these bands off and uh, pull them out as you're cutting, uh, but you gotta avoid those so you don't uh, dull your blade. All right, well, there you go, just like that. Got some wood cut, got a truck full of wood. There's some small pieces, there's some bigger pieces. And uh, this will do good for a while until we need to come back down here and cut again. So also keep in mind that we use all this wood, these bundles, uh, for our smokehouse, for canning all of our, our produce that we get from the garden. 
And so for the last two years, these eight bundles have served us pretty well. Like I said, it's a pretty affordable option. So if you have that option where you live, I would take advantage of it. All right, guys, we'll see you next time on American Homestead. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button below the video. It really means a lot to us. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Now you can support an American homestead by becoming a patron. Visit patreon.com slash an American homestead to see all the benefits of becoming a patron of our channel. You'll get access to private videos, pictures, and even live question and answer sessions that you can participate in. Some patrons will even receive free gifts throughout the year from the homestead. Visit patreon.com slash an American homestead to check it out and see the rewards of supporting our channel.